All right, we are live. Welcome to Friday. Where, where, there's my camera. Hi, welcome to Friday, everybody. Uh, it's time for our Friday live stream. I am Craig, uh, and I'm really, really happy to be here. Shoaib, Frayden, welcome. Glad to see you guys here. Uh, boy, you guys are stalwarts. That's fantastic. I, I love love having you here every week. Um, and now I'm really realizing I probably should have cleaned up a little bit behind me, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, so today we're going to be going over some news like we did last week. We're going to be talking about the news of the day with cord cutting, keep you up to date on on things and give you a chance to ask your cord cutting streaming questions, whatever you got for me. So uh, today we're going to be talking about Discovery Plus and HBO Max, uh, the, the merger that's going on. I don't know if you've heard about that. There is a merger going on. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a little bit of news around that, uh, so we'll, we'll get into that. We're going to talk about some Black Friday stuff, because uh, Black Friday is coming up, and there are some deals that you ought to be aware of. In fact, there are some deals going on right now, um, and we'll double check to make sure those are still happen happening. Uh, AVR, welcome. Nice to see you. So anyway, that is, uh, that's the agenda for today, to go through a few news items, give you a few tips, uh, some deals that are out there for you. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see where else this stream takes us today. Uh, you know, the last several times I've done this, I, uh, um, you know, I end up kind of calling it quits, partly because my throat gets so so uh, sore uh, from constantly talking. So I got I got my tea. I'm ready to go. Some soothing. Hmm. Earl Grey. Just what the doctor ordered. Not my doctor, somebody's. Um, okay, so Sylvia, hello, William May, and Christian, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Lost me for a second. Oh, no. Um, so is anybody having trouble with uh, the broadcast? Uh, or are we looking okay? Uh, you let me know. Uh, yes, Tony. Yes, there's a merger. There's a merger going on. Um, I'll tell you I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. Okay, so um, before we do... Uh oh I'm getting bombed. Oh, the Air Force is flying over. Okay. Uh, before we do that, let me just remind you right here is the uh, weekly giveaways page, reviews.org slash giveaways. It is also uh, linked, I, you know, I, I sometimes link in the comments, but it's also linked in the description, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook, uh, that is linked in the description. So uh, go check out that page. Uh, let me see what we've got. Uh, yeah, that's right. Last week, the winner of the er, the uh, Fire TV stick was what we gave away last week. And the winner of that, I hope I hope he's here with us now, but it's Chris Davidson. Chris Davidson, congratulations. Your name was drawn from the hat. You have won the Fire TV stick. So that'll be uh, on its way to you uh, once we get a hold of you. So we'll, we'll email Chris and... Um, uh, uh, get that get that on its way out now the this week is uh okay well hang on let me back up and say next week is disney plus day they're trying to make this a thing or are they calling it yeah they're calling it disney plus day not disney day maybe it is just disney day anyway november 12th um will mark two years since disney plus premiered and uh to celebrate um you know disney's going to be doing a bunch of stuff and we decided we would do another uh, giveaway for one year of Disney Plus free. So uh, this can go out to anybody who uh, either hasn't signed up for Disney Plus and is curious to give it a shot, or for those who um, uh, already have it, this will be a gift card that you can put toward your Disney Plus subscription. So uh, one year free of Disney Plus. We'll be giving that away next week. So go to reviews.org slash giveaways, link in the description, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, and I should mention that um, the reviews.org website, we're changing, uh, we're changing over it. There's some technical backend stuff that's getting changed. And so I know there was some, uh, like the page was down for a little while this morning or it, like it got shifted a little bit early um, with the giveaway. Anyway, sorry about that. We are working on those technical changes. Hopefully you won't see anything. Uh, you won't have any issues with the page uh, when you go over there. But if you do, let me know. Uh, we'd be happy to fix it if there's anything going on. So, all right. Is that, I feel like we got, that That was a lot of uh, housekeeping, but, uh, but we got it all done. So um, anyway, yeah, let's see what you guys are saying now. So make sure I'm uh, not not uh, missing anything here on the chat. 
Uh, let's see. DJ Hendrix, good afternoon. Uh, Jamie Perez or Jaime Perez, uh, good afternoon. Welcome. Reliance Shoeb, let's see. All right. My goodness. Um, all right, let's see. This is from Danny. Danny, I are you a newcomer, Danny? It's I don't know that I remember your name, but it's nice to see you. Um, let's see. Going to cut the cord with next few weeks final payment to Cox. I will be going to another provider for my internet. Amazon is running a birthday sale with the 4K on sale for $24.99. Yeah, absolutely. So uh congratulations on cutting the cord. I hope it works out as well for you as uh as you're hoping. Um, and by the way, for those of you, if, if anybody's watching this, who's thinking about cutting the cord or just kind of just barely did it and they kind of want to get the lay of the land. If you go to our YouTube page, uh, there are categories, um, you know, video categories. I've got a category, whatever you can, you can look for these playlists they're called. Um, and one of the playlists is cord cutting 101. Uh, so if you check out that playlist, I've done a bunch of videos on cord cutting 101. There's one that we did a week or two ago. I need to make sure it got added to that playlist. But anyway, uh, so yeah, if you are new to cord cutting, you want a resource, uh, then go check out my cord cutting 101 series. So, okay. Um, all right. Now, this is, uh, so Jacob says, the page asks to log in, but keeps refreshing without an a allowing an actual sign. Is that on reviews.org? Hmm, interesting. I'll have to go uh, check that out. Um, oh, no. Oh, no, Denya. Well, hello. Welcome. I'm just, I'm sorry you have to learn English from me because, uh, well, I'm, I'm not the best speaker in the world. <laughs> I guess I do okay. But uh, I'm glad you enjoy the stream and it's nice to have you here. So, um, all right. So let's, uh, let's look into uh, this Warner Brothers Discovery murder. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pull up the page here. Let's see, share the screen, share that screen. All right, so here we go. Let's add this, there we go. All right, so um, Disney Plus, Discovery Plus and HBO Max, sorry, the, not Disney Plus, I misspoke. Discovery Plus uh, and HBO Max may bundle before combining after the merger. Okay, so to give you a little background, if you haven't heard of it, there's this thing, Warner Bros, Warner Brothers Discovery. It's a clunky name. It's an awful, this graphic that they came up with it's uh, it's awful. Everything about it is awful. <laughs> but the the actual merger and the content and the the uh, streaming services that we'll get from this are pretty cool. Okay, so despite the uh, lackluster graphic here, so uh, yeah, if you I, let me see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. Discovery and Warner Media are on track to finalize their merger in mid twenty twenty two. Okay, so if you haven't heard about that. Uh, yeah, that is going on. Discovery is a massive uh, content creation machine. Um, so if you have signed up for Discovery Plus, you know they've got like 20 different channels um, and, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of different uh, shows and whatnot. And they are famous for, uh, well, they, they a lot of those channels are the cable channels that we're used to. Things like TLC, the food channel. Um, what, what's the... Uh, the food food network is what I meant to say. Uh, TLC. What are some of the 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 um, the ones I'm trying to think of? Like what what where does A and E where does Ghost Hunters and you know that sort of thing. So they do a lot of unscripted content uh, that you remember from cable. Uh, whereas Warner Media, which owns HBO, is famous for a different thing. HBO is famous for its uh, scripted dramas and comedies um, that are you know very high production value, right? So they make shows and movies that are very expensive, very expensive to make. Discovery makes content that is incredibly cheap to make. Um, and both of those kind of play to a different audience. And now they're going to be merging and that'll happen next year. Um, and they kind of, they addressed some of these, uh, uh, some of the phases, I guess they're calling it, um, it would be two phases. So when they do merge, there will be an initial phase that allows for quick bundling of the services and a second phase that allows for common service on one tech platform. So I assume that that first phase will be, they 
they've merged. They want to put all this content together um, in one place for people to get, but it takes time to build a new app or to integrate the, you know, the two apps together. And so they may want to take some time to do that. It also allows them to do a little testing and find out what, you know, how popular this is going to be, how much demand there will be for, uh, for a, uh, a single service that combines both the scripted content and the unscripted content of those two platforms. Is that something that people will want? This is something that I feel like uh, some of you in the chat have been uh, asking about for quite a while, uh, where, oh, let me see if I can, there we go. Uh, some of you have been asking about this for a while. Um, you know, it, it is is bundling coming? Uh, you know, what's going to happen? Like what, what's TV going to look like in 10 years or something? This is, um, I think a harbinger of things to come with, uh, with mergers and with bundles and whatnot. Um, and I'm all for it, frankly, uh, because my assumption, uh, I should say I'm all for it. Assuming that, uh, that what I think will happen is in fact, what will happen, which is that, um, I think that when uh, when these things happen, when the merger happens, uh, they have the bundle. It'll be kind of like the Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus, where you can bundle, save a few bucks every month, or you can not. If you're really only interested in ESPN Plus because you love hockey or whatever, um, then you just sign up for that one. Just pay them the six bucks a month for that, and you're good. You don't have to sign up for the bundle. So this is... Oh, and, and the other thing is they'll keep doing, uh, you know, month to month without doing the long-term contracts. So for anybody, I'm preemptively um, saying that uh, for anybody who says, oh, you know, this is what I got rid of cable for. Don't worry. This is still cord cutting because you still have a lot of choices. You're not stuck in a long-term contract. Uh, you know, you, you have more freedom under this uh, potential future system uh, than we do now. So anyway, so yeah, for those of you just joining us, we're talking about this uh, Discovery HBO Max uh, merger. So let's see what you guys have to say about this. All right. Um, I, <laughs> the graphic was made in MS Paint. No doubt. I, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, was it really? I mean, you're you're stating that as if it's a fact. I mean, I could easily believe that, but I don't know if that's actually true. Um, let's see. Okay. So, uh, this is a good question. Sorry. Well, uh, I guess we'll come back to, uh, the, the topic at hand in just a moment. Um, is anyone, let's see, I'm looking at the Roku ultra with Dolby vision. How good is it? And is it worth importing from the U S to the UK? It's a great question. It's a great question. Um, possibly, po possibly. Okay. Now let me, let me, um, uh, okay, I was looking to see if there's like an early deal on the uh, Roku Ultra. Let's let's go to Amazon and um, I don't know about Amazon in the UK, but uh, um, let's find out what Amazon US is doing. And maybe we can look up the UK. Okay, all right. So let's see. We've got okay. So on Amazon, at least the Roku Ultra is still going for ninety bucks. Sometimes it it uh, drops in price a little bit. Okay. So the price, let's just say you're going to pay 80 to $90 for it. I don't know what you would pay. Um, oh, I guess you'd have to, you said you would import it. Um, so yeah, shipping will be a beast, <laughs> but if you do that, what are you getting for uh, Roku ultra? Yeah. You're getting the Dolby vision. Um, you're getting a faster machine uh, than the other uh, devices. You're getting a bulkier remote, a heavier remote, which some people like. I'm not I'm not presenting that as a downside. Um, it's just slightly thicker and heavier uh, because it's got a headphone jack for private listening in the in the uh, remote, which is really convenient. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, it does do the Dolby vision, Dolby sound. Uh, but I, I, I want to say the the Roku stick 4K does that, but I, I'm not 100% on that I, off the top of my head. Um, anyway, so it really just depends on whether you're going to use those extra features. It is a little bit faster. So if you're using this all day, every day, that might be worth it all by itself. Usually not. Um, and I would say, hey, if you're going to use that private listening mode, which you can do on other Roku devices just with your phone, um, or if you are going to take advantage of the Dolby Vision stuff, uh, you know, then yeah, it might be worth it. But it's really 
It's going to be up to you on that one. Um, all right. Let's see. Carmen. Carmen says, I've decided to go hybrid. That's part basic cable and internet with Philo, movie apps, etc. all together under 100 bucks. Hey, there you go. That's living the dream. Under 100 bucks. That's kind of my benchmark too. If you can get... Um, if you can get a decent internet connection and uh, a good amount of content for under a hundred bucks, you're, you're doing pretty good, especially compared to what we used to pay for our cable bundles, right? All right. So, uh, so we could get all of them together, Showtime, Disney, all the other ones in one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's possible. It, there, there are places where they're trying to build this already, like on the Roku channel, Roku uh, really wants to make the Roku channel a thing. And and they're kind of, it's working to a certain extent. And I think it could work even better in the future. But what they're, they're doing is like with the premium channels like Stars, um, they used to do HBO, now they don't, you know. Uh, but uh, the, the Epics, Stars, the premium channels like that, you can sign up for those in the Roku channel. And then it all, so you're, you're still paying the same amount um, you know, so what is it like 11 bucks a month or something like that for stars? I can't remember. Uh, but the bill goes through Roku. And so you can kind of bundle all those uh, services together so that you're just paying one bill. Um, and then you go in through your Roku channel app. Oh, gosh, I'm like way out of focus here. Sorry, guys. I think that's throwing me off. Um, and then uh, was I? Oh, yeah, you go in through the Roku channel app and everything is there in one place. That's the idea. Um, so. Yeah, so there are there are uh, whispers of what may be waiting for us in the future. So, um, all right, all right. Let's see. Ayan Alam, hello from India. And hello from the U.S. It's nice to see you. Uh, all right. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm trying to just trying to catch up on the chat. So pardon me for being rude. Uh, now somebody named that Austin Powers quote. All right. Um, ooh, yes. I heard that Amazon Prime may pull from Roku. That's probably something we should talk about. Um, let's see if I can find. <laughs> okay. This was, this was in the news a couple of days ago, so I'm just looking to see uh, if, uh, if I can find a, a good news story to talk about that with. Um, so what are we talking about? Um, what's it called? Prime Video. <laughs> Prime Video, Roku. Um, okay, let's, yeah, let's see if I can pull up a news item on this. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Okay, so this is a good one. Thank you for bringing this up, Sylvia. Let's let's talk about uh, the the feud, the Roku feud. Roku is having a tough time these days. <laughs> they are really struggling, uh, and here's why. Okay, so let, let's uh, let's just pull this up uh, first. There we go. All right, as YouTube feud drags on. Oh gosh, we got to blow that up so you can see it. YouTube feud drags on Roku reportedly also battling with Amazon over user data. Okay, so basically Roku is a, it's, it's the, in streaming terms, in streaming device terms, uh, it's the big kid at, at the table, right? Okay, so, um, all right, so Roku's been battling with YouTube and YouTube TV. We talked about that last week, so you can, uh, you can go back and check out that video. We can maybe talk about it a little bit now, but um anyway but now it looks like roku and amazon are feuding um all right so anyway basically what's going on is they they, they want to share data no i don't want to share data uh, like user data because they like that's user data your viewing preferences your active apps your whatever like that that is valuable information and so roku may be saying like hey, look we don't <laughs> we won't give that up like first of all people trust us not to sell that information necessarily. Um, uh, but it's also valuable to us as a company to make our product better, right? And so they're they're disputing about that. If they don't come up with, uh, with a solution, then yeah, they could lose, Roku could lose the Prime Video app. Um, and, you know, we talked last week about how they're feuding with uh, Google over YouTube and YouTube TV. If they lose those and then they lose Prime Video, they already don't have Twitch. 
uh, which, you know, may not be uh, as big as the others, but to a certain community, you know, it's a big deal. Uh, they're, they've lost some of these, uh, these big apps. Um, anyway, so yeah, if they keep, if these apps keep dropping from the service, then yeah, they're in trouble. Um, here, let's, let's do, okay. So, so that's, and, and here's why Roku, it feels able to, um, to kind of get these feuds going like I'm, I'm sure they don't love it they don't love this publicity it's not fun for them it's tough to to deal with but uh we can see roku surpasses 56.4 million active accounts like that's that's a that's a big number and so they feel like they can throw their weight around a little bit even with companies like google and amazon so roku's like hey look <laughs> we've we, we don't have the market cornered, right? Fire TV is also huge. Uh, Android TV and Google TV, those are big too, but nothing comes uh, close to, to Roku, uh, except maybe Fire TV anyway. And so, yeah, they, they do get to throw their weight around a little bit. Um, all right. So yeah, that, that is going on. Um, all right. So uh, going back a little bit, Leonard asked a merger that the uh, Discovery Plus uh, and HBO Max merger. Yes, that's a real thing. It'll be happening next year. So nothing we have to worry about yet, but it is interesting news to keep track of. Um, all right. <laughs> we should all just go back to using antennas. Then what will I do with this channel? Okay, I can't do antenna content all day. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Let's see. So yeah, hopefully this answered your question, Jason. What is it with Roku and content providers? Yeah, it's this this was uh this sort of disagreement happened all the time, you know, 20, 30 years ago when everybody was on uh cable and satellite. We just didn't hear about it as much. Um because it was, you know, it was uh say 20 years ago, the landscape, the TV landscape was pretty settled. Um, and so you know, they'd have these little carriage disputes or whatever, but they, you know, they, people didn't care. It wasn't really news, but cord cutting, this uh, cord cutting revolution that's going on is, um, it is big news. So, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, something interesting for people to sink their teeth into um, as evidenced by this channel. So there you go. Hmm. All right. So Danny says, that is one of the reasons I will not be going with Roku. And you know what, Danny, you're not crazy. Um, I love my Roku devices. I've loved them for years, but I, I got to admit, I'm getting a little frustrated. I'm getting a little fed up uh, with Roku constantly getting into these uh, disputes. So I get it. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of with you. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, if, they, if they can settle things down, then great. Uh, but if they can't, uh, they'd be in trouble for sure. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. Um, Astro Josh, Roku, sadly not the top anymore because they pull stuff off. Well, yeah, it's it's not necessarily them pulling stuff off. It's it's the Googles and Amazons of the world saying, hey, <laughs> you might be the biggest kid in this sandbox, but we own 800 other sandboxes over here and we don't need you. You know, so that's that's why they start button heads. Um, and so it's not necessarily that Roku pulls stuff off. It's that the, uh, content providers like Amazon, uh, and like, well, uh, like, um, uh, HBO max back in the day, Peacock, uh, they're, they're the ones that say, no, we're not giving you an app for your Roku, which you know, cuts both ways. Yeah. Uh, pros and cons, right? All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, this is a thing. This is a, a real thing. Jason says it's not like you can even sideload official apps. Yeah. So like if you can't get um, like back in uh, when HBO Max launched, I want to say it wasn't available on Roku and it also wasn't available on Fire TV, if memory serves correctly. Um, and on Fire TV, you could sideload it. Excuse me. You could you could find a way to get that app onto your device anyway, even though it wasn't on the um the platform officially but with roku it's a closed ecosystem you can't um you can't do that sort of thing like you can on uh fire sticks because they're based on an android um uh os 
And so and that's an open source. And uh, yeah, you can do a lot more customization with it. Some people love that. Others, that, but that's kind of a, it's a power user thing, right? So if you're sideloading stuff, you're an advanced cord cutter. <laughs> There's no getting around that. You're an advanced cord cutter. And some people want to keep it simple. So they're like the Roku gives me tiles. It's easy. You know, there's no no gimmicks, whatever. Uh, so yeah, some people like it. All right. <laughs> I read that Roku has or is stopping private channels too. Interesting. Okay, I hadn't heard that. I, but if you have a link for that, I'd be really interested to hear more about it. Um, all right. <laughs> if Quibi is removed from Roku, I'm done. You know, I, uh, uh, oh yeah, I, I could show you, I guess, but um, I still have my tile on my Roku for um, PlayStation View, <laughs> just because it was like, it was such a, a momentous and sad day when PlayStation View shut down uh, that I, I don't know, uh, just to honor PlayStation View, I, I keep that, um, I keep that tile on there. And it, it's a purple tile that says, PlayStation View is no longer available. Sorry. And I'll never get rid of that tile just because it's fun to have it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we should talk about some other stuff. Let's let's do uh, Black Friday deals. All right, Black Friday deals. I um, wonder if I can... Uh, yeah, oh, well, we'll worry about that a little bit later. Okay. Let's see if I can find... There we go. The Apple TV 4K. So Amazon is putting out a few Black Friday deals early. So here is one for you to check out. The Apple TV 4K. Um, and there it is. Okay, so there we go. Uh, ha, ha, ha. So if we zoom in on this a little bit, uh, there we go. All right, so this is the new 2021 Apple TV 4K. Uh, did it? Yeah, it was this year, man. Is this the shortest year? Like 2020 was the longest year of all time. Is this the shortest? Uh, good heavens. Anyway, so yeah, normally 179. Right now you can get it for 169. Is that a huge drop in price? No, but uh, if, if it's something that can push you over the edge, save 10 bucks, basically like make up the taxes, right? So that's that's one thing you could check out. Um, and uh, let's see, the other one is, oh yeah, this is one that uh, I, I should get Juan on to talk about this. Um, and it's one that I'm thinking of, um, but it's the, yeah, this is internet related. And and so you know, obviously we cover internet on this, uh, this channel, but I bring it up because it's so um, important for streaming um, your internet connection. So here we go, the... Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, there's the there's the page I'm looking for. The Eero Pro 6 Wi-Fi 6 system. So this is a, a three pack. You can get the three pack for uh, 450, which is 150 bucks off. That's not bad, honestly. And this Eero is an Amazon company. They uh, bought them a few years ago, I believe. Um, and then there's also uh, let's see. You can you can do the same thing with um, one or two, and they, so they they're uh, also uh, on sale. So yeah, let me see if I can find those pages as well. Actually, uh, just to just to have them. There you go. Yeah. So uh, uh, if we get the one pack, it's one seventy one. So you're saving sixty bucks. That's twenty five percent off. Not bad. Um, or you can get the two pack for 300 bucks. So um, now why would you do this? All right. So uh, this is Amazon Eero Pro 6 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi 6 system with built-in Zigbee smart home hub. All right. So why would you get this? Well, for most of us, this isn't probably going to matter just yet because most of our devices aren't Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Um, but some are. Uh, in fact, I recently reviewed the, uh, uh, what, what was it called? The Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. That's right. That's the newest uh, Fire Stick. And it is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. And basically what this means, it's just, it's just 
uh, better. I'm not going to get into the technical stuff, partly because I don't, I'm not super confident that I totally understand it, but uh, also just it's boring. <laughs> so basically it just means a better connection, a quicker connection. So you can have, um, you know, say you get a hundred, a hundred megabits per second of download speed from Xfinity. That's my favorite example usually, or Cox. Somebody was talking about Cox earlier. Uh, so you can get that and they could be piping in a hundred megabits per second into your home. But if your router can't handle that, then, you know, your, your uh, connection is only as strong as the weak, weakest link in that chain, right? So you get your router, your modem, you've got the actual uh, connection from your ISP. And so whatever the weakest link in that chain is, it determines how fast you can go. And so um, when I got uh, fiber internet here, I'm lucky enough to have municipal fiber, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, so I get gigabit speeds. Well, I had an old system. I think I had the old Google uh, Pucks, the, the Google Mesh Wi-Fi. Um, and I had to upgrade to Eero. So I, I had I have the previous gen Eero devices, uh, but they are not Wi-Fi 6 compatible. And so when I get a device like the uh, Fire Stick 4K Max, I can't test that connection because I don't have that connection. So anyway... Um, so I can get my gigabit speeds, but, you know, sometimes the devices don't talk uh, to each other as well as you might like. So anyway, um, it's OK. Yeah. And this is good. Uh, it's security related to. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're talking about that. <laughs> this is also a thing for Wi-Fi 6. I thought you were talking about that. Oh, boy. OK. Um, so anyway, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted by your guys' comments. Uh, there you go. There's some uh, some deals for you. I'm going to be putting out a list, a Black Friday list uh, in video form um, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Black Friday. Oh, Black Friday is two weeks from today. And so my list should come out that Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I should have a list out of uh, deals to look out for. So watch for that video. And make sure you like it, subscribe, and all the things. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see what else you guys got for me. Mm -hmm. So I had one of those. I assume you hear you're talking about the Apple TV 4K. I had one of those for two days and took it back for a Fire TV Cube second gen. The Apple TV is not worth uh, 120 pounds more. <laughs> maybe maybe not. It, yeah, it kind of depends. The, I, I love the Apple TV 4K. Um, as a device, but I would have to say I wouldn't own one if I didn't have a channel where I review streaming devices and services because I don't have that many Apple devices. And they do the most annoying thing in the world with their login. Uh, Apple logins are unbelievably frustrating. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad they take their security seriously, but it's like, if you mess up your password one time, you're locked out and you have to have at least two different app, uh, Apple devices if you want to unlock it, you know, stuff like that, where it's just unreal uh, what they what they make people go through um, to to uh, take advantage of their of their uh, devices. Anyway, so, yeah, Apple frustrates me quite a bit. Um, all right. So. I like my TV and soundbar, Black Friday deals, $25 Fire Stick with TV controls, unbeatable. There you go. Yeah. Um, let's see what, yeah, let's see what the Fire Stick is going for right now. Okay, so we've got the Fire Stick. We've got, yeah, the Fire Stick. Oh, okay, good. That is the, it's the slightly previous gen device. So I'm just searching for Fire Sticks right now. And so this is the one that, uh, that Willie Max is talking about right now. Uh, Fire TV Stick 4K with Alexa voice remote. Yeah, so this is not the brand new version. There's the 4K Max that I was just talking about, um, which is, it, it is actually noticeably better than this version, but this is still a very good device. A very, very good device. So 25 bucks for this one. Yeah, that's, you, you should get on that <laughs> if you're uh, if you're interested in one of these. Am I am I right about Thanksgiving? Is that two? No, it's three weeks. Three weeks from today, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> three weeks from today is Black Friday. So yeah, these deals are early, aren't they? That's fantastic. All right. What else you guys got for me here? 
Um, unfortunately, the okay it says Jason, the Fire TV Max does not have a great Wi-Fi six antenna. Your speed won't be much better than the AC version. Yeah, um, at which I I wasn't able to test at least when I did my video. I've I've seen it in action since, but I wasn't able to test it for the video. It had enough other things going for it that I it's highly recommended by me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I. I uh, like I said, this, uh, other previous gen is still a plenty good device. Um, yeah, this, this is a thing I wanted to sign up for Apple TV plus, but I haven't had an Apple device in years. So I had great trouble trying to sign up. I gave up in the end. Yeah. I, this is what I'm talking about. They make it very difficult. The idea of course, is that they're trying to make it, uh, trying to make you dependent on your Apple devices so that you don't quit Apple. It's uh, my wife had an iPhone for years um, and uh, she was out hunting for a computer and, and she was like, should I get a Mac? And I was like, if you do your choice, your, your, your free will <laughs> is given up. You're done. You're, you're in the Apple ecosystem and you have to buy those devices forever. Uh, you know, once you get like iPhone, iPad and Mac, then you're done, right? It's it's really hard to extricate yourself. So uh, that being said, it is a great ecosystem. It's wonderful, but the devices are very expensive. So it's uh, trade-offs. All right. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this is a good one from Tony. Hang on. All right. So many streaming services, HBO Max, YouTube TV, and premium. Uh, uh, oh yeah, YouTube TV and YouTube Premium, Hulu, Pluto, Disney Plus, there's plenty. But I'm constantly looking at the other services. Why? Very simple. FOMO. That's that's one of the downsides, and we have to admit there are some. There are some downsides to the cord cutting revolution that's going on, and FOMO is a big one. Um, where you know, you think back to our parents and grandparents. And, oh, back in my day, I had three channels. I'm, you know, uh, so things are so complicated now. And that's true. And you, you kind of chuckle and say, oh, grandpa, that's true. Um, but they're not wrong. It, you know, things were very simple. And now we have 18,000 uh, streaming channels and choices. And, you know, the internet is constantly talking about something. You know, Squid Game is like the latest example. They're always say, oh, everybody in the world needs to watch this thing. And so you're like, oh my gosh, I need to watch this thing or else I'm missing out. Oh man, the FOMO is real. But you know what? If you can rid yourself of the FOMO, the fear of missing out, then uh, you're you're opening yourself up to a world of savings. <laughs> if you want proof of this, then go on to our YouTube channel um, and search for one of my videos on uh, top 10 free channels on fill in the blank. Roku, I think I've done Roku, Android, Google, uh, Fire TV, and Apple TV. I've done it, like the top 10 free apps for all of those devices. And um, it basically, if you can get, if you can rid yourself of FOMO, you don't have to pay for content ever again. It's that simple. Now, simple isn't easy because it's not easy to get rid of FOMO, but it is simple. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> next year, Black Friday sales will begin in February <laughs> at this rate. Yeah, well, can't say I'd complain all that much. I am curious to see what's going to happen um, this year with all the supply chain issues and, uh, you know, delivery problems and all that stuff. Like, what's going to happen when the Black Friday, Cyber Monday holiday push starts in earnest? And, um, you know, how long is it going to take? to get your fire stick? How long is it going to take to get your, your new, uh, you know, video card for your computer, whatever you're getting? Yeah. Um, uh, there is that. Okay. Why, why, why do we have FOMO? Cause we're never happy and always want more huh? there. Boy, we could go off on some philosophical tangents on this Trish, but I'm going to resist. I'll, I will resist and try very hard not to do that. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Brought, bought a Vizio soundbar, says Frayden. Kept connecting to someone else's audio in an apartment complex. And finally, one day it turned on by itself and started playing. <laughs> yeah, been there. Um, it, it, yeah. 
that's one thing about now the, the, this doesn't even fit here but uh, technology it, it always takes a couple generations right to work out the kinks but i feel like bluetooth has been around long enough they should have this figured out but sometimes they don't and i am i understand that <laughs> all right um, Jason says he paid for a year at Disney Plus. I must say I'm very disappointed with it. They really need a lot more new content. Um, yeah, I mean, they're kind of counting on their vault. If you are, if you're an adult who is not that interested in throwing open the classic Disney vault, um, then there might not be that much there for you. You burn through a few Marvel shows, you, you know, some Star Wars content, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever you might be into. Um, some of the, um, is it Discovery Channel? Not Discovery Channel. What's the, what am I trying to think of? National, National Geographic, Nat Geo is on there. So yeah, you can burn through a few of those things and then suddenly you're like, uh, I, I, I don't really want to go watch, you know, what, what, what's, what's the, what's the love bug or what? I don't, I can't remember what the movie was. I was just looking at the other day. I was like, I don't want to watch this. Why are they recommending this to me? So yeah, I understand. I get it. Oh boy. We're we're jumping around on uh, um, on topics here, but this is uh, uh, let's see. Apple annoys me, but I still have my iPhone. I use a Dell laptop and Samsung Note twenty. Yeah, you are all over the place, and I love it. Um, I love that. So yeah, and I, I'm with you. I use I use Windows and an Android. I've got an iPad, um, so like I, I kind of I dabble all over the place. All right. Free versus FOMO. You know what? That's Tony. That's a good uh, title for a video. I should do a video on this, right? Free versus FOMO. Um, that'd be a great video title. Yeah. I'm, I, you know what? Screenshot. Yeah. So I can remember to do a video on that. That's a good one. I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> what do I think about sling? Ask, asks Ms. Simmons' baby. Baby. Sorry, I forgot the exclamation mark. Um, what do I think about Sling? Oh, boy. I've got a lot of thoughts about Sling. Um, oh, <laughs> can you narrow it down? Because <laughs> we're 42 minutes into this stream, and I could do the next 18 just on this question. <laughs> so you'll have to... Uh, so you'll have to uh, narrow it down for me. Uh, but I, I would love to tackle this one. What do I think about Sling? A lot. I think of a lot of things about Sling. Oh, boy. That is a relief, you guys. Usually I do not have something hot to uh, help me out while I'm doing all this uh, this talking. Oh, you know, I, and I missed an opportunity. I should have got my, my Craig is always right mug to make Jeff happy. Um, but you can buy yours today. I think the link for that is underneath our videos. So yeah, go check it out. Ah, what a relief. Okay. Um, <laughs> Windows Phone for the win. You know, I when Windows Phone came out, I was working in a bank. I was, uh, you know, like a, a personal banker um, at a bank right outside of Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington. Um, and so this is, gosh, what year is it now? So this was 10 years ago. Um, and so because of that, all these customers that came in had Windows phones, right? They're Windows or they're, they're Microsoft employees. So they all had Windows phones. I never bought one, um, but I did get to use them quite a bit. Uh, and they were awesome. They were really, really good phones. They just never quite broke through. Uh, it's like the Zune. You remember Zune uh, back when iPods became a thing and then the Zune came out and everybody laughed at it. And if you actually got a Zune, you're like, this is a great device. This is a wonderful device. It just, you know, it ended up dying because it didn't get uh, support, like outside support. So <laughs> that happens. All right. Um Okay, so let me let me go back to this question. Uh, let's see if I can narrow it down. What do I think about Sling? I think that Sling... How do I put this? Sling is a good service. Okay, let me, let me just say that up front. I think it is a good service. And it is worth looking into if you want to keep live TV and you're cutting the cord. Okay, that being said, 
it tries to walk a line between a cheaper service with fewer options, like uh, not not Pluto, like um, uh, Philo. Okay, so it, Philo is like twenty five bucks. No sports channels, no news channels. It's all just like kind of other cable content. Um, so that's like the cheap version, and then you've got the more expensive versions like um, uh, YouTube TV, sixty five bucks a month, but you get a bunch of stuff, uh, sports news, etc lots of different channels and sling tries to walk a line between those and whether they do that successfully it, i mean it's up to you uh, you you can only answer that question for yourself um so yeah i i think that sling sling never quite settled on its identity um which hurt it when YouTube TV and Hulu Live came out. And the other thing that hurt it was uh, that they, in order to walk that line, in order to keep things a little bit cheaper, um, they split into those orange and blue packages. Uh, and that hurt Sling in the long run, I think. I think it's still hurting Sling because it's complicated. Uh, because of the complexity of the, the orange versus blue packages, uh, it's really tough to know. Um, what, like, kind of what you're, it's not tough to know what you're getting, but it's tough to know what you can do with it. So whether it's DVR issues or simultaneous streams, where it's like on blue, you get three simultaneous streams, but on orange, you only get one. So if you get the combined package, you should get three simultaneous streams, right? But not if you're watching an orange channel like ESPN, then you only get one simultaneous stream. Uh, you know, and so like, stuff like that where it's just like oh man my head hurts trying to figure out what sling is even doing um and so if you if you can crack the code if you can figure out sling and understand what it's doing then like i said i think it's great i think it's a good service uh, but they have hurt themselves by being too complex so there you go there's my three to four minute rant um all right disney plus has all the muppets enough said <laughs> I never got into the Muppets. Uh, it was never uh, puppets always freak me out. Uh, yeah, at least that that style of puppet. Uh, so yeah, when I was a kid, um, Sesame Street was kind of out. And, like it, ever since I was a little kid, the puppet thing freaked me out. Didn't like it. Um, all right. Oh, their content. Oh, sorry. This is going back to Sling TV. Not not a. Yeah, I, uh, hopefully I gave you enough thoughts to satisfy that uh, that question. Um, all right. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is something that um, goes on all the time. T-Mobile is giving subscribers a free year of Paramount Plus. Earlier this year, they had a free year of Apple TV and they had free MLB TV for several years now. Yeah, uh, T-Mobile um, is also the purveyor of my favorite ballpark. Uh, now, T-Mobile Park up in Seattle. Where's my my hat? Do I not have my hat? Oh, my Mariners hat is gone. Um, so yeah, T-Mobile -Mo Park up in Seattle. So that makes sense that they're big into the MLB stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, if, you, if you're thinking about a phone plan, um, I've said this for years on uh, you know, when I used to do more phone content. Um, but if you're thinking about a phone plan, you want to look into those perks, but you shouldn't let it make your decision for you. <laughs> like if you want Paramount Plus, that doesn't mean you should sign up for T-Mobile. But if you want to sign up for T-Mobile, look at what perks you can get, and you know, and it could be uh, could be a good idea. The only problem with these perks is that they come with the most expensive plans that all these companies have. So, so whether you're able to take advantage of that is uh, up in the air. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Disney done with the premiere thing after that ugly Scarlett Johansson incident? Uh, good question. I, I think they would want to be done with it regardless, just because yeah, you stand to make more money uh, by releasing in movie theaters. Um, certainly in the short term. I'm trying to think through the economics of it. Let's yeah, let's do economics live. No, that's a bad idea. That's like trying to do math live. It's just a, just a terrible idea. So do I think that they're done with it? Yes, but maybe not because of. How's that? Uh, I, I don't know. It's tough to say. 
they could still do the premiere thing if they keep charging the 30 bucks. I think HBO Max, uh, the the days of those uh, simultaneous releases are um, are numbered, <laughs> not over, but numbered. Uh, but Disney Plus has always been charging the 30 bucks to rent the movie, which I couldn't do. If, if I'm going to pay 30 bucks, I'm going to the movie theater because I usually go to the movies alone. Uh, so I can get a ticket and delicious popcorn <laughs> and a giant uh, what is diet. Uh, here's my drink. Okay, you get those uh, the mix the mixing stations. You get a diet um, uh, uh, ginger ale, so a, a zero sugar ginger ale with raspberry syrup. So a little bit a little bit of calories in there with the raspberry syrup, but it's delicious with the popcorn. Oh, and some. Uh, Anybody else, anybody else do this? I had an intern a few years ago here at reviews.org who um, it, we, we went to the movies one day and we get this big bucket of popcorn and then she gets the uh, uh, jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos. It's like, what are, you, what are you doing? And we get into the theater and she gets a thing of popcorn in her hand and a pickled jalapeno, puts it on top of that, throws the whole thing in her mouth. And I was flabbergasted. I thought that was the most disgusting thing I'd ever seen. And she laughed at me and said, just try it. So I tried it and it was delicious. So yeah, maybe give that a try. Uh, <laughs> how did I get on this? Oh yeah, that's right. Movie theaters. So yeah, uh, I like going to the, the movies. I don't know about you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a thing. As a Brit, I'm interested to know from the U.S. viewers, things like electronics are relatively cheap compared to the U.K., um, uh, but you pay so much for your utilities. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Um, uh, it, it's it gets into stuff that like I could pretend to understand, like I kind of understand a little bit because I did live um, in Europe for a little while, and you get lower utilities because they're um they're even more monopolistic in europe than they are in the u.s and they're uh, if not government run in in most countries then they're at least government sponsored or subsidized um and so you end up paying more in taxes to get the lower utility bill you know and so it's again trade-offs whatever uh as long as long as it's working for people then it's fine all right. No Muppets? Oh, man. So much for Craig is always right. How dare you? How dare you? All right. <laughs> Let's see what else you guys got for me. I'll go for just a couple more minutes, and then we'll call it good. Um, see, William Mack loves jalapenos. I that Actually, that event converted me to jalapenos. I didn't really like them before that, but then after the popcorn jalapeno um, revelation, I, I'm quite taken with jalapenos now. All right. So, been a T-Mobile customer since they were Deutsche Telekom. Uh, wow. Okay. Who pays for these freebies, T-Mobile or the provider? Not sure how they do it, but I'm not complaining. Okay. So, referring back to the idea of getting Discovery Plus free for a year on a T-Mobile Unlimited plan. Um, good question. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to ask somebody from one of those companies how that works because I'm not sure. Um, you can you can be sure that uh, Discovery Plus isn't making the same amount that they would if you just went and signed up for a year on your own. Um, but they're still making money from it. If if both T-Mobile and Discovery weren't making money on the deal, then that's why you see deals go away. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Adam's family too at the theater. Wow. Okay. Nice. I'm glad you got back. <laughs> Wonder if there's a universal remote for my streaming remotes and my TV doing online search later today. So Tony, this is a great question. And I'm curious, what TV do you have? And what streaming device do you have? Uh, so what do you use most often? Uh, so I, I've got a bunch of streaming devices back here, but I can tell you which one I use most. Um, so I'm curious for you, which one uh, do you use the most? Um, and uh, and I, yeah, I want to take this question on, but I, I need just a little more detail. Um, 
Oh, this is a good question that we did not address earlier. So is the price of HBO? So I'm I, sorry, Tony, you you help me out and then I'll, I'll uh, talk more about that in just a moment. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, so coming to this first, hello is, and hello, Romeo, uh, is the price of HBO Max streaming service, uh, will it go up if it has the merger? Okay. So um, will it go up? Yes. Like, okay, so if they bundle, then there will be a, a price increase for that, obviously. So, but think of it like um, if you get if you get Disney Plus for eight bucks a month, Hulu for, is it seven? Gosh, I'm struggling. Um, you know, whatever it is. Like if you get those two plus ESPN plus, then it comes out to like, you know, 16 bucks a month or something like that. And then they just slash like three or four bucks off of that bundle. So you can get it for, I think, 13 or 14 bucks a month. Okay. Um, and it'll work the same way, I think, uh, with HBO Max and and uh, Discovery Plus. So right now, Discovery Plus, is, I think, six bucks a month. And you can get HBO Max, uh, the, the commercial free version of it for 15. Um, and so if you put those together, it would be $21 a month. And my assumption would be if you bundle it, then they'll knock say three bucks off the price of that. And you can get the bundle for 18 a month. That's something like that, right? That That's my assumption of what they'll do. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. So Tony uses the TiVo um, and an LG. Okay. Wait, wait. Roku, Fire Stick, TiVo. So you've got all of these. My goodness. Okay. A universal streaming remote. Okay. Um, streaming remote. Let's see. What, let's see what we got here. What comes up? Um, hmm. Interesting. I have done videos in the past. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I have done videos in the past about uh, universal streaming boxes and devices, but it's been a couple of years now. So uh, my info is sorely out of date on those. Um, but here's one. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is fantastic. All right, we got we got to look at this page. So this is not the device for you, Tony. Um and your LG TV. Okay, so <laughs> go back to your original question here. Oh, where'd you end up? Okay, so yeah, the question is is there a universal universal remote for my streaming remotes and my TV? Um this is not the one you're after. <laughs> it's called the one for all streamer remote. Oh, okay, fantastic. Okay, so great. Uh, works with IR streamer. Uh, I don't know. Can you guys see that? It works with your streaming devices, TVs, and sound bars. Quick access to your favorite streaming services. Not compatible with Amazon, Fire TV, Chromecast, and Roku Stick. <laughs> so, yeah, not not what we're after. It's, I, I guess, maybe like if you use the Plex and maybe like an Android, because Android is uh, more open source. I I don't know. So like, what does it work with? That's kind of hilarious. It's a great question. Um, I, I should do my own search at some point uh, and find out what I can. But yeah, thank you for that, Tony. Um, that was just like a, a quick Google search. That was kind of the first one that came up. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So it looks like CNET has an article on this. So let's um, let's take a look at this from David Katzmeyer. He does a lot of streaming stuff over at uh, CNET. Uh, let's pull it up. Um, okay, put your question back up here. Here we go. All right, so CNET has got the best universal remote for 2021. This one, the Cabo Control Center, I did a, a um, review of this uh, a couple of years ago, and it was it was okay. It was a little clunky. It wasn't as polished as I would have hoped, uh, but it it was pretty cool. Um, you like, you get this box right here and you kind of, uh, plug all of your devices into the box and then the box to the TV and then your Cavo remote can, uh, control all those. I think it did, uh, like universal DVR as well. If I'm recalling correctly, I, I can't remember all the details, but, uh, yeah, it looks like there are a few options out there for you. I don't know why Amazon fire TV cube is on there, but okay. Um, maybe, maybe they have a way to make it a universal remote. Um, anyway, so yeah, maybe go check this out. Uh, go check out this uh, CNET article. 
And this is another great idea for a video for me. So thank you, Tony, for that. All right. Jalapeno bacon cheese bread is the ultimate taste of life. That is, that is a lot of flavor. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I'm going to start uh, start the, the process of wrapping this up. So if you have any last minute questions, I might be able to take one or two more. Um, <laughs> and uh, sorry, I'm getting a kick out of some of your, your comments here. So, um, all right. All right. I assume here you're talking about the merger between HBO Max and Discovery Plus. It would be great to be just added like Paramount Plus as it has live channels and also also on-demand content would be nice for it to be the same with the HBO Max merger. Um, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. I guess, uh, oh, here we go. Just add Discovery Plus content to HBO Max rather than bundles. So yeah, I, we were, I'll, I'll wrap it up with this one. We were talking about this a little earlier um, where the uh the plan as of now is right here uh they may bundle before combining after the merger so so you want them to just add discovery plus content to hbo max rather than bundles yeah eventually they'll combine and it'll be a, a single streaming service that's the plan right now anyway um but yeah they're saying they may do a bundle before that because it'll take time to get that app up and running um so Oh, this excellent question, Frayden. Excellent question. Where is the best place to send you video ideas other than this chat? Um, probably Twitter. Okay. So let's see if I can yeah, get my name back up here. So right down here in the corner uh, at TLP Craig, that is my Twitter handle. Um, and that's probably the best place to do it because I can save those tweets um, and uh, check them out later uh, when I'm looking for video ideas. So yeah, if you guys have ideas of stuff you'd like me to cover, I would love to hear it because um, I can make all the guesses I want about what I think people want to see. <laughs> but if you guys tell me what you actually want to see, uh, then that's fantastic. Uh, so I'm not saying I can do every single video that you would send my way, but I, I love having the ideas. I may do exactly what you send over to me or it's uh, sometimes you send me something and it's a great jumping off point where I'm like, you know what, that's an interesting question, but what if we came at it from a little different angle? Uh, sometimes I do that as well. So, uh, yeah. So hit me up on Twitter and uh, yeah, that's why I put it there at TLP Craig. Um, that's, uh, the TLP is my, my other, my other channel, but, uh, we won't worry about that right now. <laughs> you guys, I run, I run too many YouTube channels. It's, it's a disease. Okay. Uh, and I deserve your pity and your scorn. Okay. And on that note, I will end by saying, please remember to go to reviews.org slash giveaways. Uh, this week, we're going to do a Disney Plus one year subscription because next Friday uh, is Disney Plus Day. Uh, it's two years since Disney Plus released. Uh, they're going to be celebrating. And so yeah, I thought, uh, sure. Yeah, let's let's have a, another look at Disney Plus next week. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. Uh, be sure you go check out the giveaways page. The link is in the description. Um, and other than that, thank you everybody for being here today. Really, um, uh, really enjoyed having you here on the stream. And uh, yeah, I guess enjoy your weekend. I will see you next week. I hope everything is awesome for you. Much like like